Hi guys, Glader here, and today I have another update video about the PSOBB2 slash VR Guardians project. Today I'm going to be demonstrating network game objects, the ability to upload custom game object models to the platform and to place them in the world. You should definitely watch the Creature SDK video to get a better understanding of how to upload the content because it's quite similar, but I'm going to skip over that. And if you haven't seen the PSOBB2 Hunters Guild video, you should check that out too. It's pretty cool, but you're going to see it in this video as well. So I'm going to get right into it. We're going to start actually doing some of the level designing for the Hunter's Guild. Now, not actual level designing because, well, I just have a one game object uploaded. Right now, game objects have no functionality. But eventually they will. It's going to take some work to allow you to find functionality in the database because the instance server doesn't actually download these. So let's go ahead and place a couple of game objects here. You can sort of see their spawn points. There we go. Okay, so that'll be a good demonstration. So we'll create an instance. And then we will update the template to be a box. And we'll create another instance. And this will be a box. So we could also do something interesting and we can add an NPC, a creature. So we'll create a creature instance for this world and we'll leave it as the Booma. And we'll put him behind the counter just for a little bit of fun. And then we'll want to save on all of these. And there we go. So now these are in the database, and in, when we boot up the instance server, they'll load. All right, so I already have the client ready to log in. So let's go ahead and check out exactly what happened. You don't have to re-upload the map or anything. It's in the database, instance server loads it. Let's go ahead and connect and see what happens. Oops, I think I closed down. Let's see what's wrong. Oh, I just paused the instant server, I guess. By accident. All right, so now we have these boxes. Thanks to Josh Markham, as well as Pole CPP, Sort of putting those boxes together a long time ago. And we have a Booma behind the counter. Isn't that something? So yeah, this is this is how you'll place game objects as well as creatures. For static game objects, it'll be quite similar to placing creatures, but eventually be able to attach behaviors like box, portal, you know, door. And this functionality won't be defined as model behaviors, but it'll actually be database defined because the platform is data driven, inspired from World of Warcraft. And how they handle uh, content. So yeah, this is basically it. You're able to place game objects now in the world and they'll spawn on the client. Their content is downloaded at runtime and they're displayed. So that's it for the video today, guys. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked it. I'll see you in the next one.